The question for today is how much longer will this selling continues? European and UK bank stocks are again taking a sharp leg lower in trading, largely due to the fact that the market is starting to digest the implications economically of the EU referendum and couple that with a pair of bruising reports from Deutsche Bank and JP Morgan, significantly reducing the growth outlook for this sector, chalking it up to GDP that could be hit. That means fewer loan originations, margins will be hit if central banks start introducing more quantitative easing to the system and they start intervening in a stronger way. Also, if people can't pay their loans, if businesses can't pay their loans, banks will have to set aside more money for loans that could potentially go bad. And then there's the higher wholesale funding costs for these institutions too. Um, of course, that is something that they are taking into account uh, today. All of those risks combined are the reason that we've seen credit default swaps for the banking sector. Uh, widened significantly since last Thursday when the vote results became clear. The reason is CDS, remember, are basically protection that against a bank not being able to pay its debt. So when it widens, it means that certain market participants are pricing in more risk inherently into the sector. We should note Deutsche Bank, Unicredit gapping out widely, uh, but the UK banks and certain sovereigns are still, even though they're they're wider, they're not quite as bad as they were even in 2011 and very far from where they were in 2008. A few things quickly that executives are watching. They're watching those CDS rates. They're watching LIBOR spreads. That's how banks fund themselves. They're watching loan loss rates, deposit outflows, all of those things. They're not seeing it yet, but they said the political uncertainty could exacerbate that. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.